Gospel hymn and songs number 21. Will your anchor hold? Will your anchor hold in the storms of life? When the clouds unfold their wings of strife, when the strong tides lift and the cables strain, will your anchor drift or firm remain? It is safely moored, twill the storm withstand, for it is well secured by the Savior's hand. And the cables passed from his heart to mine can defy the blast through strength divine. It will firmly hold in the straits of fear. When the breakers have told the reef is near, though the tempest rave and the wild winds blow, not an angry wave shall our back overflow. It will surely hold in the floods of death. When the waters cold shield our latest breath, on the rising tide, it can never fail. While our hopes abide within the veil. When our eyes behold through the gathering night, the city of God, our harbor bright, we shall anchor fast by the heavenly shore with the storms all pass forevermore. We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll, fasting to the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love.
that keeps our soul. So, open your mouth and begin to talk to the Lord this morning. Whatever storm, whatever problem, whatever challenge you are passing through this morning, everything relevant passages that really speak to our present needs and problems, spiritually and physically and materially, you will impress upon our hearts. Be with us, enlighten us, instruct us, Teach us as we read together now. In Jesus' name, I pray. We'll continue with the reading now. The book of the prophet Ezekiel. The book of the prophet Ezekiel. Chapter 34. Chapter 34. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy, and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God unto the shepherds, Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? Ye eat the fat, and ye clothe you with the wool. Ye kill them that are fed, but ye feed not the flock. The diseased have ye not strengthened, neither have ye healed that which was sick, neither have ye bound up that which was broken. Neither have ye brought again that which was driven away, neither have ye sought that which was lost, but with force and with cruelty have ye ruled them. And they were scattered, because there is no shepherd. And they became meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. My sheep wandered through all the mountains and upon every high hill. Yea, my flock was scattered upon all the face of the earth, and none did search or seek after them. Therefore, ye shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. As I live, saith the Lord God, surely because my flock became a prey, and my flock became meat to every beast of the field because there was no shepherd, 
Neither did my shepherds search for my flock, but the shepherds fed themselves and fed not my flock. Therefore, O ye shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against the shepherds, and I will require my flock at their hand, and cause them to cease from feeding the flock. Neither shall the shepherds feed themselves any more, for I will deliver my flock from their mouth, that they may not be meat for them. For thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I, even I, will both search my sheep and seek them out. As a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day that he is among his sheep that are scattered, so will I seek out my sheep, and will deliver them out of all places where they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day. And I will bring them out from the people, and gather them from the countries, and will bring them to their own land, and feed them upon the mountains of Israel by the rivers, and in all the inhabited places of the country. I will feed them in a good pasture, and upon the high mountains of Israel shall their fold be. There shall they lie in a good fold, and in a fat pasture shall they feed upon the mountains of Israel. I will feed my flock, and I will cause them to lie down, saith the Lord God. I will seek that which was lost, and bring again that which was driven away, and will bind up that which was broken, and will strengthen that which was sick. But I will destroy the fat and the strong. I will feed them with judgment. And as for you, O my flock, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I judge between cattle and cattle, between the rams and the he-goats. Seemeth it a small thing unto you to have eaten up the good pasture, but ye must tread down with your feet the residue of your pastures, and to have drunk of the deep waters, but ye must foul the residue with your feet. And as for my flock, they eat that which ye have trodden with your feet, and they drink that which ye have fouled with your feet. Therefore thus saith the Lord God unto them, Behold, I, even I, will judge between the fat cattle and between the lean cattle, because ye have thrust with side and with shoulder and pushed all the diseased with your horns till ye have scattered them abroad. Therefore will I save my flock, and they shall no more be a prey, and I will judge between cattle and cattle, and I will set up one shepherd over them, and he shall feed them, even my servant David. He shall feed them, and he shall be their shepherd. And I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David a prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken it. And I will make with them a covenant of peace, and will cause the evil beasts to cease out of the land, and they shall dwell safely in the wilderness, and sleep in the woods. And I will make them in the places round about my hill a blessing and I will cause the shower to come down in his season. There shall be showers of blessing. And the tree of the field shall yield her fruit, and the earth shall yield her increase. And they shall be safe in their land, and shall know that I am the Lord, when I have broken the bands of their yoke, and delivered them out of the hand of those that serve themselves of them. And they shall no more be a prey to the heathen, neither shall the beast of the land devour them, but they shall dwell safely, and none shall make them afraid. And I will raise up for them a plant of renown, and they shall be no more consumed with hunger in the land, neither bear the shame of the heathen any more. Thus shall they know that I, the Lord their God, am with them, and that they, even the house of Israel, are my people, saith the Lord God. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men, and I am your God saith the Lord God. Chapter 35 Moreover the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end, therefore as I live, saith the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood, 
and blood shall pursue thee. Sith thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out, and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men, in thy hills and in thy valleys, and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. I will make thee perpetual desolations, and thy cities shall not return, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Because thou hast said, These two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it, whereas the Lord was there. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will even do according to thine anger, and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, and that I have heard all thy blasphemies which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying, They are laid desolate, they are given us to consume. Thus with your mouth ye have boasted against me, and have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. Thus saith the Lord God, When the whole earth rejoiceth, I will make thee desolate. As thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all Idumea, even all of it, and they shall know that I am the Lord. You have just listened to the Bible reading, and we need to take whatever we have learned to the Lord in prayer. Will you all rise up, please? Talk to the Lord in prayer. You've seen a commandment, a warning, an example, an instruction to obey, a promise to claim. Pray for grace that you will do as you have learned in the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray.
best friends who never turn your backs on you. All oh, that's the world around you wouldn't see you as a fool. But I did say like me, you shall be. Praise the Lord. It's been great tonight with all the worship and with all the prophecies. And I know that for you tonight, Jesus is more than enough. You can't give up. Christ is on the throne. And whatever has happened in the past, you failed in the past, Jesus is is now here to bless you. Yeah. I'll be blessed. I will be blessed. Father, we thank you tonight. We bless your name. How great you are. And your only begotten Son Christ is Savior, is Healer, is Redeemer, is the one that can do all things. And it can go beyond our problems here tonight. I pray, Lord, you visit everyone tonight in Jesus' name. We will not give up. All our problems, you will solve. I will pray, Lord, tonight, mighty miracles, mighty healing, mighty salvation, mighty deliverance. Confirm it in every life. 
In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight, we're looking at Matthew chapter 11. And I'm reading from Matthew chapter 11. We're looking at verse 28. It says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And then he tells us in verse 29, it says in verse 29, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest. Tonight, you'll find rest. Rest in your soul, rest in your spirit, rest in your family. And rest in your life all through in Jesus' name. You shall find rest unto your souls. Verse 30. It says in verse 30, For my yoke is easy, and my body is light. We're talking tonight about the invitation of Christ. And as we respond to that invitation, great will be the miracle power of the Lord working in your life in Jesus' name. Have you heard what he said? He said, come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden. And then he said, you'll find rest for your soul. Tonight I'm talking to you on coming with undeniable expectation to the mighty liberator. You come with expectation, knowing you cannot be denied, and knowing you will not be denied. Coming with undeniable expectation to the mighty liberator. Look at that again. It says, Come unto me, all ye that labor, and every lady invites all the low, the high, the sinner, the sick, the one that is oppressed, suffering in life. Come unto me. And it says, All of us can come. And tonight, you're welcome. And as you come, there be rest for your soul. Because it says, I will give you rest. The one that never lied said, I'll give you rest. The one that has all power to fulfill every promise that he makes, it says, I will give you rest. The one who has given rest to other people, restoration to other people, regeneration to other people, the one who has given new life to other people, in many generations, it said, I will give you rest. That word rest, what does that mean? Release from slavery. You've been toiling, you've been suffering, under slavery and now he says come i'll give you rest tonight there's release from slavery in your life in jesus name number two that rest means recovery from sickness when you're sick and you have pain and you are tossing here and there and you do not know how you will get any relief but christ says i the healer, the great physician, I will give you rest. He'll give you recovery from sickness. Rest, what does that mean? It means the restoration of your soul. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He restores my soul. That's the rest when your soul has been facing turbulence. And now you come to the Lord, the one that is able to tell that storm in your life, 
Peace be still. Tonight, there is peace for you. Tonight, there is serenity in your life in Jesus' name. Because it says, I will give you rest. That's restoration of the soul. Number four, it means also relief from suffering. Any kind of suffering. Christ has come. He said, the thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. Then he said, I am come. Tonight, he has come to you. He has come to your family. He has come to turn every negative thing out of your life in Jesus' name. He comes to give relief from suffering. And now, refreshing of the spirit. When you feel dry, you feel weary, you feel tired, you feel as if everything is upside down in life. Then Christ comes. He says, come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He's talking about refreshing for your spirit. And now rest, residing under his shelter. He has a shelter that no evil can penetrate. He has a shelter that nothing coming from the powers of darkness can penetrate. And he says, come unto me and I will reside and make you reside under my shelter. Now he says, come. You have to come. Come unto me. You have to come unto him. Then he says, all ye that labor and heavy laden. You have a heavy load on your heart. A heavy load on your mind. A heavy load that is pressing you down. Almost wanting you to sink into the earth. And then you want life from the Lord. There is today reassurance of full salvation. He'll save your soul. I said you'll save your soul. And everything that you had thought impossible in life, everything becomes possible tonight. Possible tonight. I said possible tonight. That's the reason why hearing the Lord, the Messiah, hearing the Lord, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, hearing the Lord, our Savior and Redeemer, now, you should be able to tell if you want an end to all those problems that you have faced. The problem of slavery, the problem of sickness, the problem of weary, dreary soul, and the problem of suffering, and the problem of no shelter, and no protection, and no security. Now that you have heard that Jesus said, come. And then all those problems are solved. Today is your day to come. Tonight is your night to come. And you come with undeniable expectation because you are coming to the mighty librator. There are three things I'm going to show you as we look at the message tonight. Number one, the unlimited power of our librator, the unlimited power of our librator. No matter how great, how big your problem is, your sickness is, your attack is, your, op your oppression is, or your affliction is, we have a Christ, a Savior, a Redeemer that will set you free tonight because he has unlimited power. I said he'll set you free tonight because he has unlimited power. Number two, the unchangeable precondition for our liberation. He gives a condition. He says, do this and then I will do that. You saw it in that sentence I read to you. Come unto me. That's the precondition. And that precondition is still operative and applicable today you do that come unto me and then it says i 
will give you rest. You have to combine those two parts of the sentence. Part one, come unto me. That's the precondition for our liberation. And it is unchangeable. And then, point number three, it will now give us unfailing performance for the liberated. Unfailing performance for the liberated. That liberation is coming to you tonight. Salvation is coming to you tonight. Deliverance is coming to you tonight. It is yours in Jesus' name. Look at number one there. Number one is the unlimited power of our liberator. Look at Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 there. And hear the risen Lord, hear him talk. And hear the great liberator, hear him talk. And hear the one who is the same yesterday and today and forever hear him talk and hear him talk to you about his power and jesus came and spake unto them saying all power all power all power all 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 power to dissolve any problem all power to move any mountain. All power to heal any sickness. All power to destroy every work of the devil. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. All power resides in Christ. Christ, our Savior. Christ, our healer and it comes tonight it will manifest that power in your life i said it will manifest the power in your life what kind of power power to forgive and to set free he told those people he said that you may know that the son of man has power on earth to forgive sin then he told the paralyzed rise up and walk Tonight, that power is there. It will forgive every sin you ever committed in your life. The power to forgive and to set free. The power to save and to strengthen. You know, he has power to save you. You need salvation. And it comes of salvation. Not only that he has power to save he has power to strengthen after you are saved. The power to so strengthen you, you will walk upright, you will stand upright, and all the temptations and trial that you used to put your face, your nose on the mold, he'll make you stand because he has the power. The power to save and the power to strengthen. That's why he said all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. He also has the power to heal and to keep you stronger and make you whole. If there's anything missing in your body, like, you know, your mind, or maybe your eardrum is no more there, or the womb is no more there, or one part of the body is lost, he has the power to heal. And he also has the power to make you whole. Tonight, he'll make you whole. Tonight, he will remove every sickness, every pain, every infirmity out of your life tonight in Jesus' name. The power to heal. The power to make you whole. He'll touch your brain. He'll touch your mind. He'll touch your body and every part. You'll be every week whole tonight in Jesus' name. He announced, he declared, he proclaimed to the people, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. He has the power to deliver 
and then to give you dominion. Power to deliver from every evil spirit, every evil power. Power to deliver from any oppression, any attack, any powers of darkness. And then after he has delivered you, he will give you dominion. Somebody shout, dominion. It will give you that power in Jesus' name. If there is any substance binding you, if there is, you know, like, you know, you're addicted to tobacco, to addicted to alcohol, addicted to any kind of substance, had drugs tonight. Deliverance has come for you in Jesus' name. Are we not before the one who has announced and before the one who has declared that all power is given unto him in heaven and in earth. And then he'll give you the power to overcome the works of the flesh. The works of the flesh. The works of the flesh. All those uh, bad habits, all those evil things, all those sinful acts of your life. Power is coming upon your life tonight and you will overcome. Somebody there, I'm talking to you tonight. I said the power to overcome the flesh will come upon you in Jesus' name. And he has the power to break every yoke. Think about it now. Think about it now. A yoke in your life. Wherever that yoke is coming from, it's coming from the pit of hell. It's coming from the people that hate you and they said something and you say, this has been happening to me tonight. That yoke is broken in your life in Jesus' name. And the power to remove every mountain. That mountain that stands before you. That stumbling block that stands before you. The power to remove all that mountain and all the stumbling block. You'll do it tonight. Who are the people expecting it to be done? Where are the people expecting it to be done? It will be done tonight in Jesus' name. All power is given unto him in heaven and on earth. Look at Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. With the Holy Ghost and what power then it says who went about doing good he'll do good in your life when he forgives your sin that's doing good when he saves your soul that's doing good when he wipes your tears away that's doing good when he raises you up from that bed of affliction and sickness that's doing good is going about tonight he'll get to you there i said he'll get to you there going about doing good and healing all all the paralyzed healing all all the blind healing all all the deaf and dumb healing all all the lame healing all all the cancer patients healing all all the people that have incurable disease healing all it's coming to you what are you it's coming to you healing for you tonight in jesus name Healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Is here tonight. The unlimited power of our liberator. Look at number two. Number two is the unchangeable precondition for our liberation. Unchangeable precondition. You see, what do I do? How can I make him to give me that rest, that restoration, that regeneration, that righteousness, that release? What do I do? What is the precondition 
Look at what the Lord himself has said in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, reading from verse 17. Wherefore, come out. Look at that. That's the precondition. You want your sins to be forgiven? And you want all the yokes to be broken? And you want the rest, the release, and the relief to come unto you? Wherefore, come out. Come out from among them. And be ye separate, says the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing. And I will, I will receive you. You see the two parts of the sentence there. Part one, come out. Part two, I will receive you. And then in verse 18, it says, I will be a father unto you. Come out, I'll be a father unto you. And ye shall be my sons and my daughters. Come out, and ye shall be my sons and my daughters, says the Lord Almighty. What's the precondition there? Something you must do, something everyone must do before they'll get the rest, before they'll get the restoration, before they'll get the reassurance. Come out. Look at Revelation chapter 18. We're looking at verse 4. Chapter 18, reading from verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that she be not partakers of her sins, and that she receive not of her plagues. Look at that. Come out. It's telling us, he said it in Matthew, the beginning of the New Testament. And it says it in Revelation, the end of the New Testament. And it says it all the way in between. Come out. And as you come, the blessings of God are sure tonight. Forgiveness is sure tonight. Salvation is sure tonight. Healing is sure tonight. Look at Luke chapter 19, verse 5. Luke chapter 19, verse 5. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and he saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down. Make haste and come down. You see, the precondition remains the same. And as the Lord comes to us today, it says, number one, come out. You have been in the gang of evildoers, in the gang of peculiar sinners, in the gang of criminals. The Lord is saying, he's waiting for you here to forgive you tonight. And he'll forgive you tonight. But he says, come out. And let me tell you something. God tells us what you do. And he tells us what he will do. When we do what God tells us to do, then God will do what he has said he will do. But you have to take that step. You have to say, I make up my mind. I come out. And as I come out, I'm expecting the blessing of God will be upon your life. Come away from darkness. You've been in darkness, operating on the paths of darkness. You've been in darkness, and you have been living inside darkness, and you make darkness to cover every evil thing you're doing. The Lord is saying, come away from darkness, and then light will shine upon your life. Tonight, light. I said tonight, light. And then it says, come down. You're being at the top of the ivory tower of pride. You have been seeing, I am like Nebuchadnezzar and no one else. You have been saying, I am like Pharaoh. And you are up there and you belittle all the invitation of the Lord. The Lord is saying tonight, come down, come down. 
come down from that tower of pride, that place of pride, and blessing will come upon your life tonight in Jesus' name. And then he said, when you come out, when you come away, when you come down, there is one place, there is one person to come to, come unto me. Come unto me. The Savior, the only Savior, come out and come in. Come out of the kingdom of darkness and come into the kingdom of light. And come to Christ, the light of the world. And as you come today, praise the Lord, there will be joy in your heart. There will be freedom in your soul. There will be healing for every sickness you carry. In Jesus' name, come unto me. Come by faith. That's how I come. You come expecting. He cannot lie. He, is prom he has promised. And he is faithful who has promised. And because he is faithful, you can come Come believing, come believing, and as you believe, he'll forgive you. He'll change your life. He'll turn your life around. You come by faith unto him. And then, now, I come down. I come out. I come away from darkness. I come unto him. I come by faith. And I come with him. He's not static. He's not staying or standing in one place. He's moving. He's going to the heavenly city. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you unto myself. You are going to heaven. I said you will get to heaven. As you come out, as you come away from darkness, as you come down, as you come unto him, then you come with him. You continue with him. You will not say, crusade is over. And then Christ and me, that's over, will part. Come with him. Come with him. Come with him until you get to that place he has gone to prepare for us. You'll be there. Where are you? You'll be there. I will be there. And so that means the precondition is fulfilled because we come. How many are coming today? Let everyone see you there. How many are coming to Christ today? Let everyone see you there. How many are coming out? How many are coming away from darkness? How many are coming down from that tower of pride? How many are coming unto him? Where are you? Where are you? How many are coming into the light and they are coming into the kingdom of Christ? And then when they come, they will continue with Christ. Come with me. The Lord bless you there. The Lord give you a miracle there. And the Lord grant you salvation there. Let me come to point number three now. Point number three, the unfailing performance in the library. Tonight, there will be no failure. There will be no blockage. There will be no hindrance. The blessing of God, the forgiveness of God, the salvation of God, and the deliverance of the Lord will come to you there tonight in Jesus' name. The unfailing performance for the liberated, by the liberator, for the liberated. Look at Jeremiah there, chapter 1, verse 12, talking about the performance of the Lord. Then said the Lord, Unto me, thou hast seen well. Thou 
as well seen. If you see forgiveness coming to you tonight, thou hast seen well. If you see salvation coming to you tonight, thou hast seen well. If you see healing coming to you tonight, thou hast seen well. If you see the mercy of God, the love of God, his compassion coming to you tonight, thou hast seen well. If you see miracle. By the eyes of faith coming to you tonight, thou hast seen well. And if you see the answer to your prayer, the solution to your problem, if you see that coming from Christ to you tonight, thou hast well seen. What you see, the salvation you see, the miracle you see, the deliverance you see, will be yours tonight in Jesus' name. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. You didn't say amen to that one. It will quicken his word. It will hasten his word. It will perform it in your life tonight. Praise the Lord, forgiveness is available for you, everyone. Praise the Lord, salvation is available for everyone. That salvation is conversion, and it is the ticket that takes you to heaven. Look at Luke chapter 1, verse 37. Luke chapter 1, verse 37, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. Your case... It's possible with God. Your problem, easy. The Lord will solve it tonight. Your blind eyes, easy. The Lord will open those blind eyes tonight. And your deformity, easy. The Lord will recreate you tonight in Jesus' name. For with God, nothing, nothing, nothing shall be impossible look at verse 45 in verse 45 uh, and blessed is she that believed blessed is she that believed for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from uh, the lord tonight there shall be a performance in your life there shall be a performance here tonight, without saying go and come, tonight you're carrying miracle back home. What are the performances of the Lord that He says tonight, as you believe, there'll be a performance of those things which the Lord had told you. Number one, you'll be free and free indeed. Every chain, every shackle, everything that ties you, every habit that holds you down. Tonight, the performance of being free and free indeed. Tonight, you're free indeed. Number two, you'll be saved and transformed indeed. There are people who say they are saved and we cannot see the transformation indeed, 100%, that the Lord has touched your heart, your life, has turned you around, and the things I used to say, I say them no more. The places I used to go, I go there no more. The things I used to drink, I drink that no more. And the thing I used to smoke, I smoke them no more because I'm a new creature. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Give me a good amen there. And all things have become new. Your character will become new. Your behavior will become new. Your disposition attitude will become new because the performance of the Lord is number one, free and free indeed. Number two, saved and transformed 
Indeed, number three, the performance tonight healed and made whole indeed. I praise God tonight. I see healing coming your way. He'll make you whole. If you are lame, you throw the sticks away. Now, if you hold on to the sticks, to the crutches, you'll be depending on them. But when you know that the one who has promised cannot fail, that's the reason why you throw the sticks away. At the, at the beginning, it's like you're learning how to walk. And you may not walk perfectly, but keep on, keep on. The performance has come, and you'll be made whole indeed in Jesus' name. If you have braces, I told you yesterday, if you keep on the braces, you'll not know anything has happened when you loosen the braces. And you know that the performance has come and you are in the possession, in the enjoyment of that possession, of that a glorious miracle. As you take all those things away, that short leg will grow out. That withered hand will stretch out and that that looks impossible in the past will suddenly become possible in your life in Jesus name performance performance what's the performance deliverance and dominion indeed deliverance every evil power that has laid hold on your life as we mentioned the name of Jesus all those evil powers, they give way. When they hear the name of Jesus, they will take to their feet, they'll run away from you in Jesus' name. And not just that you have deliverance, you have dominion indeed. I have deliverance. I have deliverance. The Lord confirm it in your life in Jesus' name. When he talks of performance, performance of reconciliation and righteousness, you'll be far away from God. Your sin separated you from God. But now he says, come, and he, he reconciles the sinner to the holy God of heaven, and then he injects righteousness in your life and so you are reconciled and made righteous indeed it's coming i said it's coming when you come to christ then he takes you he reconciles you to the father and then he puts the law for righteousness in your heart and he puts the life of righteousness in you when you come, he'll perform. He'll give you the performance, that the performance of being cleansed and clean indeed. You'll be cleansed and you'll be clean indeed. Tonight, the Lord will do that in your life. He'll make you clean. Bad language will go out of your mouth. Dirty language will go out of your mouth. Dirty character, dirty behavior will go out of your life. He, our Savior, He, the refiner, He, the transformer, the one that will transform us, He is the one that will do it. He will perform it in your life. He will cleanse you and make you clean indeed in Jesus' name. And then he will restore you and renew you indeed. He'll restore. And then he will renew a new strength, a new power, a new ability, a new desire, a new direction in life. When he saves us, when he redeems us, when he reconciles us, when he restores us, he also renews us, your life will be new. You come with 
undeniable expectation to the liberator tonight and say, Lord, I come. When you come, you've taken a step. You've done something you know, he told you to do. Come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will, he said, if you come, he must do something in your life tonight. I said, he must do something in your life tonight. I will give you rest. I will give you rest. I, the Lord, I, the Savior, I, the Redeemer, I, the one that cannot fail, I will give you rest. And blessed is she, blessed is he that believeth, for there shall be a performance. Somebody there tonight, performance. I said somebody there tonight, performance. Come, there shall be a performance. Believe, there shall be a performance of those things which the Lord had told him, had told her. Do you believe? Do you know the Lord is going to do that in your life tonight? He will forgive you. He will save you. He will deliver you. He will heal you. He will set you free. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. There shall be a performance. Come. There shall be a performance. Come out. There shall be a performance. Come away from darkness. There shall be a performance. Come down. There shall be a performance. Come unto Christ, the Savior. There shall be a performance. It's bowed and eyes closed. You've made up your mind. Tonight is your night of forgiveness. Tonight is the night of your salvation. Tonight is the night of your freedom. Wherever you are, raise up your hand and say, Lord, I am the person you have called. I'm responding to the call. Lord, I come. Out of my sin, I come. Out of crime, I come. Out of using all those hard drugs, I come. Out of immorality, I come. Out of the works of the flesh, I come. Out of the bad habit, I come. Out of darkness, I come. As you come, as you come, as you come, He, Christ, will do what he has said he will do. He will give you rest. He will give you relief. He will give you restoration. He will give you reassurance of salvation. Where are you? Raise up that hand and say, Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Let there be a performance in my life now. Lord, I come. If you are raising up your hand, God bless you there. Can you stand up? You are raising up your hand. You are saying, Lord, I come. I come with my heart. I come by faith. I come wholeheartedly. I come determined that I will not go back again to those evil things I used to do. Lord, I come. You are raising up your hand. Where are you? Where are you? Can you stand up? God bless you there. God bless you there. As you stand up, tell the Lord now and say, Lord, you invited me to come out of my sin, out of darkness, out of evil, out of all that bad, evil thing. Lord, as you have called, I come. And I praise you, Lord, receive me. Because you cannot reject anyone who sincerely comes. Lord, I pray, give me that forgiveness. Lord, give me that freedom. Lord, Give me that salvation. Lord, give me that new life. Lord, give me that eternal life. That's what he will do. You come with all your heart and you come by faith and you come sincerely with all honesty. 
then he will do what he has said he will do. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Keep on standing and praying along with you now, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for those who have understood your call for them to come out. And they have responded and they have come out. And I pray the forgiveness of the Lord will come to every one of them right now in Jesus' name. I pray that your salvation, eternal life, will come to them now in Jesus' name. And the power for a new life, a righteous life, will come to everyone now in Jesus' name. Let the joy of salvation come to them. And let the peace that comes with salvation come in their hearts right now. And give them the power to go and live as new creatures in Christ. Confirm it, O Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. Keep on standing. Our state pastor, Pastor Sam, is coming now and will lead us in this um, counseling period. And then I'll come back. There'll be a performance of miracle in your life. Counselors, let's spread ourselves right to the back, right towards the gate. Brethren, God has visited you tonight. Heaven is rejoicing because of you. Angels are rejoicing. Fill the forms very clearly. Write in capital letters. Write your phone numbers correctly, 11 digits. Put the correct phone numbers. This will enable us to reach out to you, to extend our hands of fellowship to you, and to help you to keep the experience that God is giving you tonight. God has given you that experience already. Counselors, remember, outside the gate, there are many people there. Remember also that in Good Success College, the fence after us there, our car park, there are so many people there. Please extend the cards to everyone. Fill it correctly and let it be very far. Don't go yet. Our Father in the Lord, the servant of God, is still coming very shortly to pray the miracle prayer for everyone. And be preparing yourself right now for that miracle. If you are not among those they are attending to now, keep on praying. Telling God, tonight is my night. I'm not going back without my healing. I'm not going back without my deliverance. And you have brought anyone needing healing, deliverance, liberation tonight. Stay by that person. And counsel us, when you finish, don't leave that place. Stay in the congregation. As the lame rises up to walk, bring them out. Encourage those on wheelchair to stand up by faith and walk. Tonight, God is ready to release uncommon miracles here. So, pray and prepare yourself. Counsel us, help those who cannot feel or they don't have writing materials, help them. And when they fill the forms, check very well to ensure everything is filled correctly. Tomorrow, all of you giving your lives to Christ now, and all those who gave their lives to Christ yesterday, our Father in the Lord is inviting you to a special lunch hour with Jesus Christ by 3 p.m. tomorrow. And that will be in the hall behind me. Pray. Those of you who are not involved in counseling or you are not being counseled, pray and expect your miracle. Pray and expect your blessing. Pray and expect your deliverance. Counselors, be fast and attend to everyone. Every one of them is important. 
Every one of them is important. Attend to them and describe the addresses correctly. If you have finished from your segment, move to another segment. If you have nobody counseling now, move to another segment. Move towards your back. Move to the left. Move towards the right hand side. Move to the crowd behind the choir. Move to the crowd behind the youth hall and the children hall. And enter into those halls. There are many people inside there also. Attend to them. Tonight, God is about to reign, the reign of miracles. Don't go, don't go. I believe you are praying. I believe you are expecting. The blind will see. The lame will walk. That short leg will grow out tonight. That cancer will disappear tonight. And that growth in your body will literally disappear tonight. You have brought somebody, stay by that person. Counselors, when you finish counseling, remain there so that you can bring the people out to share their testimonies. And if you have finished in your segment, wave your hands at me. Let me know that you have finished. You have finished in your segment, wave your hand. Wave your hand. Counselors, when you finish, submit those forms to the supervisor in your segment there. Online converts. As you look at the screen, you will see a link there. Just click that link and fill the form and simply submit. We will get back to you. If you are listening via the radio, if you are listening via the television, do the same thing. If you have just submitted your life, surrendered your life to Jesus, send your name. Send your phone numbers, very important. And send your email address via SMS or WhatsApp to the number showing on the screen, plus 234-9154-449263. I take it again, plus 234 9154449263. Send your name, your address, your phone number, your email address to that number. You can send it by SMS or WhatsApp. We will get back to you and have fellowship with you. Connect with Christ. You are listening on Facebook. You are listening through WhatsApp, Zoom, Instagram, anywhere you are connected. Fill the form and submit. Counselors, if you are true, can I see you raise up your hand? Wave your hand at me. Those are the front. You are almost through now. Far at the middle, if you are through... Wave your hands and let us see. Right to the back. Remember to get towards the gate and outside. And the car park in the secondary school near us there. Counselors, thank you for the good job you are doing. Our choir members, thank you for the good work you are doing. Please be fast. Because the man of God will soon pray. Remember, tomorrow by 3 p.m., you are coming here. And after that, we join the meeting. Lunch hour with Jesus Christ. Lunch hour with Jesus Christ. We'll have spiritual fellowship. 
we will also eat physical food together at that time. If you are done, can you wave your hand? Remember to submit your forms, the completed ones, to the supervisor. And the supervisor, don't go with the form. You will give it to the overall coordinator for counseling. And we are gathering everything in Hall 4. Are you getting ready for miracle? Are you getting ready for miracle? Remember, you will never go back the same. Remember, you will never go as you came. Just tell the Lord, this is my time. As the servant of God will be coming up very soon, tell the Lord, this is my time. I will not go back the same. Hold on to God. It is what you believe and confess that you will possess. Have faith. I will receive and you will receive. I'm healed and you are healed. I'm delivered and you are delivered. Whatever be your challenge, the Almighty God is about to touch you any moment from now. Any moment from now. Counselors, remember, stand there. Because you need to bring them out so that we can hear their testimony. If you are true, anywhere, left, right, back, can you wave your hand? Counselors, you are true. Wave your hands at me. Wave your hands at me. Wave your hands at me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We will rise up now as we welcome our Father in the Lord, the man of God, the one that prays simple, short, but straightforward prayer, and your miracle come. Get ready for your miracle. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> I said praise the Lord there shall be a performance in your life right there where you are standing there shall be a performance as we pray expect believe and then after the final amen you know that the miracle is there. A performance would have taken place. Blind eyes would have opened. The lame would have risen up and been walking all right. Performance. 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 You raise up one hand. You lay the other hand where you have the challenge. And when you hear the name of Jesus mentioned, you know without any shadow of doubt, a performance has taken place. Those who are here, those who are in various locations all over the country, over the radio, over the television, anywhere, in any country, any continent, the performance will take place now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you because you cannot fail. What you have said you will do, you will do. You said, come unto me. And then you said, I'll give you rest. I pray, Lord, that rest, that miracle, that healing, that deliverance, perform it now in Jesus' name. The swap is sanity. I command that evil spirit come out in Jesus' name. Blind eyes be opened in Jesus' name. Those who are deaf and dumb, receive your hearing, receive your speaking. Performance right now in your body, 
in Jesus' name. You have any swelling, goiter, hunchback, elephantiasis, hernia? Come out in Jesus' name. Also, be healed in Jesus' name. Cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. Your kidney, your lungs, your livers, receive the miracle touch right now. Pile, you are healed in Jesus' name. HIV AIDS, you are healed in Jesus' name. I pray every mountain move out right now. Every sickness be healed right now. Every infirmity be removed right now. Every mountain in your life come out in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. It is done. There is a performance in every life. In Jesus' name we pray. It has happened. I said it has happened. It's right there. Check up. You see your miracle. It has happened. It has happened.